Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Uh, dear students, we are going to discuss the new chapter in the microbiology. That is uh, introduction to the microbiology. What is microbiology? Microbiology is the study of the microscopic organisms, the organisms that are not able to see in with the naked eye. Their study must require the microscope. So the microorganisms are the organisms that are too much small. They must need a microscope to study their physiology, their morphology, and their structure, etc. Microorganisms are foundation of all life on earth. The 21st century will be the age of biology and biotechnology with microbiology as the most important branch. Biotechnology or biology to 21st century may flourish can be microbiology ka both important role. Hai. Starting uh, with the introduction to the microbiology what is the microbiology microbiology is the combination of three words micro bio and logy micro means too small to, to be seen with the naked eye bio means life and the logy means study so the study of the microscopic life the study of small life the study of those organisms that are not able to see with the naked eye is called the microbiology Microbiology is a uh, study of very small living organisms. These organisms, these microscopic organisms are called microorganisms. Sometimes we can also refer these organisms as a microbes. Microbes are ubiquitous. and these microbes are present everywhere on the earth. These microbes are present in the air, in the soil, in the at least uh, in the body of the living organism also contains different types of the microbes. They are found in all natural habitats. Microorganisms are present in everywhere. A scientist continue to explore remote and unusual environments. The only entity they always find is microbes. If you want to scientists life ko explore karna chahte hain to wahan pe sabse jo pehla evidence hai life ka wo microbes hain agar kisi bhi jagah pe microbes maujood hain microbes rehte hain microbes pae jate hain wahan pe life exist karti hai so the existence of life is always depends on the presence of microorganisms they exist microorganisms exist deep beneath the polar ice caps in the oceans to the depth of 7 miles in the hot springs and thermal vents and toxic waste dumps and even in the clouds these are different uh, habitats where the microorganisms present so these are the harsh environments microorganisms even uh, found are uh, they may uh, present in all these harsh conditions like the ice caps beneath the uh, oceans and the hot springs and thermal vents so we can say microorganisms are present everywhere uh, at this earth. There are 100 million times as many bacteria in the oceans, 13 into 10 to 28, as there are stars in the known universe. It has been estimated that 5 into 10 is about 30 microbial cells exist on Earth. The total number of microbial cells, uh, uh, by estimation, 5 into 10 to 30. Excluding sea loss, these cells constitute about 90% of biomass of entire biosphere. The 90% of entire biomass of this biosphere is contributed by the microorganisms. Humans also have an intimate relationship with microorganisms. More than 90% of the cells in our bodies are microbes. The bacteria present in the average human gut weight about 1 kg. And the human adult will excrete his or her own weight in the fecal bacteria each year. So the number of microorganisms are more uh, than the number of people uh, at this at this universe, uh, at this earth. Major groups of microorganisms include the bacteria. Bacteria are the microscopic unicellular organisms having no membrane-bound organelles and having no membrane-bound nucleus. The structure is very much simple. Microorganisms include the viruses. These are non-cellular particles. These are non-cellular entities. Uh, Sometimes these organisms, uh, these particles, considered as a borderline between the life and life uh, and non-life. 
they consider as a living as well as a non-living because their characters uh, sometimes uh, shows as a living just like the living and some characters uh, are shown like the non-living they can crystallize they can inactivate uh, they can replicate uh, these are different characters that are shared both uh, as the living and the non-living characters these are different types of uh, viruses bacteriophage virus adenovirus animal virus and the human uh, immunodeficiency virus hiv virus fungi are the most diverse group of the microorganisms the unicellular fungi are called the sheaths while the multicellular are called the molds these are also uh, the major group of the microorganism protozoans the unicellular um, eukaryotic animals are called the protozoans these have a very important uh, role in different types of diseases LG unicellular LG having the photosynthetic pigments they are the contributor in the process of photosynthesis helminths uh, parasitic worms these are responsible for different types of diseases in humans so the major groups of the microorganisms major uh, groups that are included in the microorganisms are the bacteria viruses fungi protozoa algae and helminths uh, we also include uh, the next group uh, that are called the prions and the virus in the microbiology uh, but uh, that are the only particles these are not the living organisms so vir uh, virions viroids and prions are also considered uh, as a group of the microorganisms the nature of microorganisms makes them both easy and difficult to study. The nature of microorganisms ki is ki base pe hum usko asani se samajh bhi sakte hain aur isme mushkil bhi aa sakti hai why easy is liye because they reproduce so rapidly and can usually be grown in large number in the laboratory ki jo replication rate hai reproduction reproduction rate hai wo bahut zyada hai unko hum asani se laboratory mein grow kar sakte hain easy analysis kar sakte hain they are difficult because we can't observe or analyze them without special techniques especially the use of microscope unki study unke analysis bahut mushkil hai kyunki unko special techniques ki zarurat hai so sometimes these techniques are required expertise microbiology is one of the largest and most complex of the biological sciences because it integrates subject matter from many diverse disciplines ye bahut diverse aur largest aur complex biological science hai kyunki iske study ke liye different jo field of biology hai wo required hoti hai microbiology study every aspect of microbes like their morphology their anatomy their genetics their physiology characteristics that may be harmful or beneficial the way they interact with the environment microbial ecology the ways that uh, they interact with other organisms and their use in industry and agriculture why we study the microbiology the study of microbiology is uh, mainly based on their uh, useful aspects as well as the harmful aspects the activities of microorganisms are responsible for the survival of all other organisms including humans on this planet jitne bhi organisms hain unki survival totally microorganism par depend karti hai agar microorganisms nahi hai to living life possible nahi hai the majority of microorganisms actually help maintain the balance of living organisms and chemical in our environment the microbiome the microbiome some uh, that colonize our body they play important role in the disease resistance in the colonization and uh, in the competition uh, with the uh, pathogenic microorganisms an adult human is composed of about 30 trillion body cells and harbors uh, another 40 trillion bacteria cells jo body hai wo 30 trillion cells se compose hai lekin us body mein jo microorganisms hain bacteria cells hain wo 40 trillion se so the number of the bacteria cells are far more as uh, than the number of the cells the body composed of microbes that live stably in and on life on human body are called the human microbiome isko normal microbiota bhi kehte hain ye human life mein bahut important role play karta hai microorganism mainly help in the production of oxygen through the process of photosynthesis marine and fresh water microorganism form the basis of food chain in oceans lakes and rivers more than 50% of oxygen is produced by the microorganisms they are the decomposers that decompose uh, the dead organic matters they are the saprophytes decomposition of dead organisms waste products of living organisms decompose industrial waste oil spills and help in the bioremediations 
Microorganisms help in the neutron cycles, in the carbon cycle, phosphorus cycle, sulfur cycle, and nitrogen cycle as well. Involve the elemental cycles like the carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, sulfur, and the phosphorus cycle, soil, water, life, and air. These elements are uh, circulating through the soil, water, life, and air. So, microorganisms help in the uh, neutron cycles. Microorganisms uh, help in the digestion in human body and many other animals. Microorganisms help in the synthesis of some vitamins that uh, the body of living organisms require. The most important vitamins, uh, like the B vitamins, that help in the metabolisms, that uh, help in the different types of chemical reactions in the digestion. Vitamins K help in the blood clotting. These uh, vitamins are produced by different types of microorganisms in the body of living organisms. Bacteria and algae are source of food for small animals. So these are the important uh, part of the food chain uh, in the ecosystem. A common edible mushroom contains a protein lectin that can stop cancer uh, and cell multiplication. So different types of drugs, uh, antibiotics and uh, medicines can be obtained by different microorganisms. Commercial applications of microorganisms include microorganisms also have many commercial applications. They are used in the synthesis of such uh, chemical products like the vitamins, organic acids, enzymes, alcohols, and many drugs. For example, microbes are used to produce acetone and butanol, and the vitamin B2, riboflavin, and B12 uh, cobalamin are made biochemically uh, by the microorganisms. Food industry uh, also uses microbes in the production of the vinegar, sauerkraut, uh, it is the pickle or fermented cabbage, pickles, soy sauce, cheese, yogurt, bread, alcoholic beverages. These are different industrial products uh, that are produced by using microorganisms. Enzymes from microbes can now be manipulated to cause the microbes to produce substances that normally do not synthesize. So, we can produce enzymes from microbes that normally do not synthesize and we can use them in the digestion of different components like the cellulose, the digestion of different components like the cellulose, the digestion of different and uh, digestive aids, helping digestive aid, drain cleaner enzymes and the important therapeutic substances uh, like the insulins are produced by using microorganisms. Microbial enzymes may even have helped produce your favorite pair of genes. Uh, designer genes, these are uh, made by the microbes are the damming, uh, fading by trichoderma, cotton production is by glucon acetobacter, Bleaching is produced by the mushroom baroxidase and indigo is by E. coli, Escherichia coli and plastic is by bacterial polyhydroxyalkonate. Knowledge of microorganisms allow humans to prevent food spoilage, prevent disease, understand causes and transmission of diseases to prevent the epidemics. So, when the microorganism knowledge was not बहुत सी जो पैंडेमिक्स और बहुत सी मोर्टिलिटीज होती रहीं क्योंकि जो आइडेंटिफिकेशन जो डायग्नोस्टिक प्रोसीजर्स थे वो नॉन नहीं थे इसलिए जब से हमें मालूम हुआ माइक्रोबायोलॉजी का नॉलेज एक्सप्लोर हुआ इसमें डेवलपमेंट आई इसमें न्यू इनोवेशंस आई तो इससे हमें फूड स्पाइरस को भी कंट्रोल करने में हेल्प मिली हम डिजीज को भी कंट्रोल कर सकते हैं और डिजीज की ट्रांसमिशन को भी हम कंट्रोल कर सकते हैं बिकॉज वी हैव इनफ नॉलेज अबाउट द माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम्स एंड माइक्रो ऑर्गेनिजम आर रिस्पांसिबल फॉर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ फूड स्पाइरस एंड फॉर डिफरेंट माइक्रोबियल इंफेक्शंस Namings and classifi classification of microorganisms. So microorganisms are uh, given the name as uh, given by the Carl uh, Linnaeus uh, in 1735. Carl Linnaeus established the system of scientific nomenclature in 1735. This nomenclature is also used for the uh, naming and classification of microorganisms. Uh, microbial uh, names are always the Latinized and used worldwide. Each organism has two names. Each uh, microorganism has two names: the genus and the specific epithet name. Scientific names are all italicized or underlined. The genus is capitalized. The specific epithet is lowercase. May be descriptive or uh, under a scientist. Escherichia is uh, given the name uh, to the honor of their discoverer Theodor Escherich. 
and describes the bacterium's habitat, the large intestine colon, so the name is given as the Escherichia coli. Coli because of the, its habitat in the colon and the Escherichia because of the scientist, in the honor of the scientist. Staphylococcus describes the clustered staphylo and spherical coccus cells. Ye coccus shape mein hote hain aur cluster ki form mein hote hain. That's what uh, given the name is Staphylococcus genus and the species name Aureus is given on the basis of the golden color Aureus colonies on the neutered agar. Ye jo uska color hota hai, wo golden color hota hai. That's why the Aureus is given. So Staphylococcus Aureus on the basis of its uh, morphological and uh, their nutrition uh, and their uh, colonies on the neutered agar. Different microorganisms are given the name by uh, different procedures Salmonella and Terica. Salmonella because of the uh, name of the public health uh, scientist microbiologist Daniel Salmon and Enterica because uh, these microbes bacterium are found in the intestine. Streptococcus pyogens given the name because of the appearance of the cells in the chain Stepto and these bacteria when uh, found in the infections uh, these uh, are responsible for the pus formations that's why pyogen to streptococcus pyogens scleromyces cerevisia is a yeast and uh, scleromyces uh, mice is a fungus and the sclero is uh, because it chews the sugar and the cerevisia is uh, used for the max uh, uh, beer formation beer formation that's what is called the cerevisia penicillinium chrysogenum penicillin is a tuft like or the paint brush Penicillin appearance uh, in the uh, microscopes and the chrysogenum because of the production of the yellow pigment. Trypanosoma cruzae. Uh, Trypanosoma is a cork screw like structures. Uh, Trypano is uh, mainly used for the borer and soma is body. Its body is like the borer. Uh, Bore and the cruzai because of the epidemiologist Oswald's cruzai. So Trypanosoma cruzai is given the name of its. Uh, morphology and the uh, in the honor of the scientist that's all about the first lecture introduction to the microbiology we have discussed about uh, the what are the microorganisms what are different organisms that are included in the field of the microbiology and we have discussed about the importance of the uh, microorganisms we have looked at the overview of the importance of the microbiology in the next lecture we will look at the types of the microorganisms thank you so much